Now I know it's not like me, but still, I dumped Fedora and tried Arch Linux with latest or the greatest GNOME 47. And I must say, this is the best experience of Linux I've ever seen. Literally, the latest or the greatest GNOME 47 desktop environment, along with the power, stability and performance of Arch Linux, this is the perfect combination of simplicity with power. And today, I'm gonna make the desktop my own, which Yes, you guessed it right. This is gonna be a customization video or some sort of like a desktop setup video in which I'm gonna customize the desktop according to my needs. And all the links of the things used are in the description so don't worry about it. And let's get started, shall we? Now as you can see GNOME 47 looks gorgeous out of the box, like really. And not to forget. The new Ascent color feature which literally is amazing and applies beautifully. Except for the folder icons. So yes, I'm gonna go with external themes and icon packs. So let's go to GNOME looks. Wait, let's use them by myself. Right. So first, let's install a theme. So it's gonna be Orgis GDK theme. This is my favorite theme for everyday use. Like really, this is beautiful. I just go there. And download the zip file and then it is time for the icon pack for which I believe you see Orcus suggest to use Tele icon pack but instead I prefer Papyrus so let's go for Papyrus icon theme there it is we just have to download the zip files and now it is time for the you know cursor so I'm gonna go with Bibata there we go this is it all I need to do is just enter the command paste and there we go yes and download has been started yes now until it's downloading let's just install the theme and icon paths go to downloads all right it's not properly downloaded yet so i'm gonna go and install the theme first there it is all i need to do is just open a console and type dot slash install dot sh dash l L means libitwaita, which means it is gonna be applied throughout the system along with libitwaita apps. Enter the password. All right, go on. And there we go. It is installing and it's done. Now let's see. And it is also installed as well. Now it's time for Papyrus icon theme. Extract. It is extracting. Done. Now all I need to do is just open this and run this as a program there we go it's installing by itself i don't have to do anything which is actually awesome but i know what it is doing it's like installing something or downloading from the internet hmm. Papyrus. well i just could have copied this and pasted it into the themes folder but instead i believe i should just go on with this yeah password and there it is installing now it is done I believe we should use a proper GNOME extension manager which is, I don't know, exclusively available on Arch and also available on Flatpak but I say let's go on with Arch. I have to type sudo pacman-s gnome. First I'm gonna install tweaks. Yes. And now it's time for the extension. Oh, it's extension manager I believe. Maybe I should go on with AUR. There it is, searching. I believe I'm getting the wrong name here. Maybe it's just this. Let's try. Again. Again. There it is, extension manager. Well, it does have an AUR package, I believe. There it is. Oh, its name is extension manager, not the GNOME extension manager, right? All right. Let me just remove GNOME shell. And there we go. Yep, that's right. Yes, yes. And there we are done. Wait, there is one thing missing, isn't it? And that is the wallpaper. So let me just... Wait, I do have something interesting. You see, I have a collection of wallpaper which is available on YouTube and even in the description of this video. So I'm just gonna go to my channel, open a video, open a video which has that. So it's gonna be right there. Now delivering in 10 minutes. And there it is, my wallpaper collection. Now, what I want is this one. Yep, this one. Download, and it's downloaded. Now let's start customizing, shall we? 
First, let's go on with the wallpaper. This one. I really like it. Set us background. Set. And we're good to go. Now, let's go to GNOME Tweaks. GNOME Tweaks will be here. There. Right? I know that. Fonts, appearances. Cursor. Bibata modernize. There it is. There it is. There we go. Now, talking about icons, let's go with Papyrus. Alright, there is one extension I need to apply in order to properly apply the system-wide user theme. User themes. And let me just relaunch it. There we go. Right, there are a few already installed here. Really? But I'm gonna go with... Wait, I've never tried this. I don't like it at all. Now, let's go with Orcus. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Now it is looking my way. And now it is time for Orcus applications. Orcus Lite in particular. And then let's enable some window manager. What do we call them? The title bar buttons. Maximize and minimize. Right. Enable this thing and we are good to go. There we go. And it is looking pretty nice. Isn't it? Yep. It is looking nice. But there is now just one thing missing and that is blur my shell blur my shell install and there we go but you see there's a glitch about blur my shell in the panel so let's just disable it La panel disable panel blur and we're good to go now it's looking pretty bluish and nice the one i like now the thing which i was wondering was shall i use dash to dock or not in my opinion I actually like the default GNOME desktop without the dock. But yeah, there's no harm in having a dock. So yeah, let's go with dash to dock. There we go. Dash to dock. Install. Install. And there it is. Let's customize it a little. Use the built-in theme, which actually looks pretty okay to me. But I want the circular one, which I don't know, seems not possible here. So I believe... I'm not gonna use dash to dock. I actually like this one. Yep, I do. And I believe everything's done. Isn't it looking pretty nice? Yep, it is looking pretty awesome in my opinion. Nice, nice. Now let's see how the theme is applied throughout the system. Yep, it's applied pretty greatly. And then let's see the file manager. Nice. And then there's just one thing left and that's the software center. Let's just open anything. Yep, this is my thing. This is my type of desktop, the one I like. But still looks like, you know, OBS doesn't follow the system-wide theme. Or does it? Let's try. Appearance, theme. Right, we cannot do anything about it. No problem. And talking about Chrome, let's see. Let's see how does it look with Orcus GDK theme. I don't like it. But besides that, Everything looks pretty gorgeous, doesn't it? Yep, it does look gorgeous. Look at that. Nice. So now I believe everything is set up and that's it for today's video. Today's video was dedicated to how I set up Arch Linux for my day-to-day -day use. And I mostly use GNOME desktop environment just like this. Having a nice Orcus GDK theme along with this wallpaper which I really like. Like, I really do like this. Look at that. Isn't it looking gorgeous? Yep, it does look gorgeous. And that is why I just prefer GNOME over KDE because it's simpler. Even if it has less options and less power than KDE, it's pretty minimalistic and it looks gorgeous. That's why I just use GNOME instead of KDE. But yeah, in terms of content creation, I still use KDE for customizations and I believe this customization of today, which I set up Arch Linux with GNOME 47 for my day-to-day -day use, is done. 